Welcome to our Chanel. In this content, we will look at the differences between smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, as usual, we start from the screen section. On the screen, these two cell phones almost have sizes that are not much different because the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a size of 6.8 inches, for the iPhone 14 Pro Max is 6.7 inches. And for the specs, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a paneled screen, Dynamic AMOLED 2X with a resolution of 1440 by 3088 pixels, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a LTPO Super Retina XDR OLED type screen, with a resolution of 1290 by 2796 pixels. And for the refresh rate, these two cell phones are the same, which is in numbers, 120 Hz. And here are the full specifications. As for the results on paper, we think the Galaxy S23 Ultra is capable of displaying sharper images. However, the brightness level of the iPhone 14 Pro Max is superior. Continue in the body material section. For IP certification, these two phones are supported with IP68 certification, which of course is water and dust resistant. And for the protection of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the front and back have been coated with Gorilla Glass Victus 2, while the frame is made of aluminum, which Samsung claims has been coated with steel with drop and scratch resistance. Meanwhile, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, on the front and back is covered with Corning made glass, which for the frame is made of stainless steel. Next in the platform section. For the OS at the time of initial launch, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra was on Android OS 13 with UI 1 UI 5.1. For the various variants, there are two types of Far in RAM 8 and 12GB LPDDR5X. For internal storage, there are three types of Far in, including 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB, UFS 4.0. As for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it is on iOS 16, which can already be upgraded to iOS 16.3 which is available for one kind of RAM, namely, 6GB LPDDR5. With four kinds of storage options including, 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, and, 1TB. Then, on the performance part. In the performance segment, both of these phones use the latest release chipset, and have the same fabrication, for nanometers. For the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it carries a chipset made by Qualcomm, namely, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it carries a chipset made by the iPhone itself, namely, the Apple A16 Bionic. For results on paper, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is faster. But for the Apple A16 Bionic, you also don't need to doubt it anymore, and the point is the same as fast. Then on to the camera. For the camera department, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is equipped with four camera lenses, for the main resolution camera, 200MP which is supported by OIS, 10MP telephoto periscope lens with 10x optical zoom, which is also supported by OIS, 10MP lens telephoto 3x optical zoom with OIS, and 12MP ultrawide lens, which for video recording is capable of recording up to 8K, 30fps, for K60 FPS. Meanwhile, for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it is equipped with a resolution front camera, 48MP, 12MP telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom supported by OIS, 12MP as an ultra-wide lens, and a TOF 3D LiDAR scanner as a depth lens, which for video recording is capable of recording videos up to 4K 60 frames per second. So, if you look at the resolution of the main camera and its features, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is superior. As for the front camera, both of these phones are equipped with a front camera with a resolution of 12MP, and the difference is that the iPhone 14 Pro Max is supported by OIS, and also has a biometric sensor feature. For video recording, both of them are capable of recording video up to 4K 60 frames per second resolution. Then on to the battery, and charging. For battery capacity, 
The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is equipped with a battery with a capacity of 5000 mAh, with 45W fast charging. And for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it is equipped with a capacity battery, 4323 mAh, with 27W fast charging. Then, in the connectivity section. For the network, these two phones both carry the 5G network, both are supported by NFC, and for the charging hole, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is equipped with a USB Type-C 3.2 port which is supported by OTG, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a Lightning port, USB 2.0. And in the audio section, both of these phones rely on stereo speakers, both of which also don't carry a 3.5mm jack port. And the Features section. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has fingerprint in display, S Pen is clear, Samsung DeX, desktop experience support, Bixby natural language commands and dictation, and also Samsung Pay. And for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it has Face ID security, ultra wideband, UWB, support features, and emergency SOS via satellite. Last conclusion. In conclusion, in our opinion, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra dominates the sector, camera, screen and performance, but if we look at the specs on paper. Thank you.